once have been told to begin the test, any delay will result in death. There will be no delay! Molly, Molly, Mr. McCrimmon has been kidnapped. It means the end of us, unless we can find him quickly. Straw. I beg your pardon. A piece of straw. Sweet young swell. <laughs> Lively, is it? Maybe you'd like to sleep again. I've got Mr. Nod here. He'll have you snoring as good as ever. What do you want? I'm to be well paid. Have no fear of that. Uh, for what? I don't know you. Oh. Here's your man, sir. Toby, what in Hades have you done? Well, oh, oh, brought me from the house, like you said. I said nothing of the kind. Well, you did, sir. Honest, you did. Uh, a guinea you promised me, and I've done what you said. Uh, you don't get out of pay, and be careful how you speak to me, Toby. There's your money. Get out! Where's Toby? He had just sent about his business. Look, what's the matter? Are you all right? Where's Victoria Waterfield? I don't know. Yes, you do. I tell you, I don't even know her. You're in the house. A friend of Maxtables, you must know. Now listen, I'm telling... Mm -hmm. huh. <laughs> I must apologize for that villain Toby. He was telling lies, of course. I shall escort you to the house. Uh, you, you just asked me about Victoria Waterfield. Uh, she's in Paris. I'm afraid I haven't introduced myself. Arthur Terrell. Well, never mind about that. Did you or did you not ask that man to knock me on the head and bring me in here? I? Oh, certainly not. Oh, no. <laughs> Doctor! Oh. <laughs> I see you're in good hands now. I won't detain you any further. Good day, Doctor. Oh, good day, <clears throat> He's mad. Stark steering mad. Yes, I know. I was listening. Let's have a look at that head of yours. Oh, it's all right. <clears throat> One minute it says this, the next minute it says that. Can you make it out, Doctor? I'm knocked on the head and I'm brought in here. Then that man Terrell enters and denies having ordered the other man to do it. Well, then he changes and he starts asking about Victoria Waterfield. And in the next breath, he tells me she's in Paris. I know what's happened to Victoria. What has? She's a prisoner of the Daleks. <laughs> being moved. Are you taking me back to my father? No. You are being moved. Pick up your cover. You are not to be exterminated! Do not delay! the Daleks. Yes, of course I did. But you were expressly told... Oh, me. fiddlesticks! Bosh! Jamie will cooperate. You may be certain of that. Are you sure? Yes, certainly sure. Jamie will do everything he is asked to do. Now, come along. <coughs> we must go and find Max. Moved. 
Everything is prepared. The testing equipment is ready. I think you will be pleased with the man I have had specially brought from London. Uh, he works in my house. Show me! You will understand that he is rather simple. <clears throat> he is quite dumb, but uh, that has its advantages for us. <clears throat> His mind is, how shall I say, undeveloped. <clears throat> he would not understand you, the Daleks. Uh, I mean, he would be terrified of me. Oh, I, I beg your pardon. Camera? You come with me. I want you to stand here. No, 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 no. Face the cabinet. Good. Now, bend that. Excellent, Cameron. Excellent. Now, you help me with these stools. There. Now, Cameron, one blow, break the plank. Very good, Cameron. I'm very pleased with you. Now you can put on your jacket. Come over here. Now I want you to listen carefully. You see this man? Now I'm going to take you to a place that I want you to guard. This young man will try and get past you, and you are not to let him, do you understand? Oh, he's an evil villain, Cameron, a cutthroat. Would gladly murder us all in our beds if he could. You will remember this man. Hmm? Night, will you come with me and I will direct you. This is the entrance to the south wing of my house. And through here will pass the man I showed you in the picture. The door itself is an obstacle. No, no, wait! Wait! 